if you're ready to put some serious XL in your 2DS or 3DS and go from this to this, or maybe even more XL, like this. You found the right video. I'm gonna show you how to use your jailbroken 2DS or 3DS handheld system and Snicker Stream to stream your content wirelessly over to your PC. All the right steps to get this done are included and we're starting now. There's a lot of misinformation out there about how to make this work with the most recent version of Luma 3DS. I'm gonna show you the right way to get this done. First, grab Snicker Stream from the GitHub. It's linked in the description. Come down and grab the version of Snickerstream that matches your version of Windows. Next, you'll need to download Boot NTR from the GitHub, but pay attention to this important message. In fact, just cut the music and everything here. Hold on a second. You see this message right here that says, this release is currently broken with official Luma 3DS? Too many YouTubers out there are still telling people to try to use this software with the official version of Luma 3DS. And if you try to, it will crash on you. But don't worry, we're going to address this in just a moment. You see, there's a temporary version of Luma 3DS that makes it possible to run this application. But in the meantime, you'll just need to go ahead and grab the application itself to get started. Scroll down on the page and you'll be able to make a choice as to whether or not you want to use this interface or this interface. When you scroll down, if you're using a new Nintendo 2DS or 3DS, grab the version without the Mode 3. If you're using an old Nintendo 2DS or 3DS, make sure to grab the Mode 3 version of the software of your choice. I'm using a new Nintendo 3DS XL for this demonstration, so I'm downloading the non-Mode 3 version. Once you get it downloaded, there's one more thing to download, and that's going to be boot.firm, and it's also available on the GitHub and linked in the description. You can read the technical explanation of what 3GX plugins are about, but in essence, you just need to come down to Assets, click on boot.firm, and download this file. In your downloads folder, you should have the two boot files and you should also have Snickerstream in compressed format. Go ahead and grab both of the boot files, the boot.firm and the CIA file, and copy them. Insert the SD card from your 3DS or 2DS into your PC and paste both of these files directly on the root of the SD card. When prompted, click replace to replace the Luma boot.firm file with the updated one. At this point, you can eject the SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS, but don't power that back on just yet. Let's go back to your downloads folder and delete those boot files out of the downloads folder just to eliminate clutter moving forward. And don't forget, they're backed up in your recycle bin if you need them. Now go to the Snickerstream zip file that you downloaded and extract the contents of the file. Then delete the zip file to eliminate clutter and confusion. Go into the folder and double click on the Snickerstream EXE file to launch it for the first time. Strange though it may seem, the thing to do right now is nothing. Just leave it in a holding pattern. We're gonna come back to this in just a minute and address everything that you see here. For now, make sure your SD card is inserted into your 2DS or 3DS and power on your system. When your console powers on, because you replaced the boot.firm file on your SD card, you'll get this menu. Use the D-pad to scroll down with the red marker to show NAND or user string in system settings and select it with the A button. Once it's selected, press the start button to restart your system. Let's go ahead and install that CIA file that you downloaded. You'll need to navigate to FBI and then select it with the A button to launch it. You'll need to focus your attention on the bottom screen. Use the D-pad to scroll the selector down until you get to the boot NTR CIA file and select it with the A button. From here, use the D-pad to scroll the selector down to install and delete CIA and select it with the A button. At the confirmation message, press A to install the CIA file. It's going to install and delete from your SD card in order to save space. At the confirmation message, press OK to continue. Then you can just press the B button to go all the way back to the FBI main menu and press the home button on your system to go back to the system's main menu. When the menu appears, you'll get a pop-up message that says new software has been installed. You can either press the A button or just tap OK. Hey, hey, presents. I love presents. Press the A button to open your present and you'll get the boot NTR software. Press the A button to launch it for the first time and you'll be prompted to close down FBI and then launch this new software. Press the A button or tap OK to continue. You'll see the Homebrew Launcher application screen for a moment and then boot NTR will start up. Let's focus on the bottom screen. At the list of settings you'll be presented, select Default. Then tap on Save to save those default settings. From here, you'll want to launch version 3.6, tap on 3.6 to continue, 
And if it works successfully, you'll be taken back to the home screen and you'll get a notification that a new notification is available. Just tap OK or press A to continue. You'll need to activate the Rosalina menu in order to get your IP address. Press the left shoulder button, down on the D-pad, and the select button on your 2DS or 3DS to activate the menu. You'll see these options in your bottom display. Use the D-pad to move the marker down until you get to Debugger Options and select it with the A button. From here, use the A button to select Enable Debugger. Once selected, you'll see a short starting message, and you'll find your IP address in the top right corner of the bottom touchscreen display. Make note of your IP address because you'll need to punch it into your PC in just a moment. With your IP address in hand, press the B button to go back, and then press the B button again to leave the Rosalina main menu and go back to the main menu of your device. Now let's transition over to your PC IP address in hand. In the box in the top left corner that says IP, type in the IP address number that you got from your 2DS or 3DS console from the Rosalina menu. It defaults to zeros in the boxes and you'll have to type over those zeros in order to get the IP address entered correctly. Before connecting your PC and your 2DS or 3DS, you also have options like choosing which of the screens has priority on the display. When you click the connect button in the bottom right corner, you'll be connected between your 2DS and 3DS wirelessly, but you'll still need to address sound. Audio isn't broadcast wirelessly, so you'll need to connect a 3.5mm headphone type cord to your 3DS or 2DS and either connect a set of headphones, speakers, or connect to your computer's sound input. Then you can start playing your favorite games and capturing audio and video on your PC. Just be aware that performance and lag is primarily based around whether you use a new Nintendo 2DS or 3DS or old Nintendo 2DS or 3DS, the performance specs of your PC, and the overall internet speed and signal strength of your wireless connectivity. For more great 3DS and 2DS content, check out this video here shown on screen in the desktop browsing experience and linked in the pinned comment in the description below.